We all know the game, telephone, where you whisper a phrase down a line of people and then see how convoluted the message becomes the further it gets from the source. It's not a very fun game. I mean, personally, I prefer Catan. Michelle, if you give me all of your ore, I will be your surrogate when you're ready to have a baby. You can't do that, that's what? cheating. No, it's hey, not it's cheating. Show me in the manual like where it says, I can't puzzle. use my own body. These wheels love making deals. Way more fun than boring ass telephone. Did you just say I'm a loser? <laughs> We're excited! Good for you, Melissa! Yeah, I love this game. <laughs> but a lot of us don't stop playing telephone when we get into adulthood. Some of us unknowingly employ a tactic called triangulation. So triangulation is like the smarter cousin of gossip because it's manipulative behavior, whether or not it's intended to be. And I say girls in the title of this video because in my personal life, I've witnessed this a lot between female friendships, but you know, this message actually applies to everyone. Everyone needs to stop triangulating. Triangulation is where one person will not communicate directly with another person and instead use a third person to relay communication to the second thus forming a triangle. If you've never heard of this term before, it's because it's mainly used in trauma-informed therapy. So intentional triangulation is what's most often discussed online and in mental health spaces, because it's a manipulation tactic used by narcissists. Dr. Romani, a clinical psychologist you may remember from the podcast, describes triangulation as a psychological threesome you did not consent to. So for example, in an abusive family dynamic, one kid is labeled the good kid, the other bad, and the narcissistic parent will play them against against each other. So the kids are incentivized to be dishonest with each other in order to be accepted by the narcissist's parent. In a romantic relationship, the narcissist may bring a, in a third person like a, an ex or a colleague to create insecurity and shift the power balance by telling you that their ex wants them back now or their colleague just keeps hitting on them. Intentional triangulation can range in its subtlety, but ultimately it's about creating chaos, harnessing that chaos to keep control and maintaining power in the relationship. But we are not all narcissists, so <laughs> that's pretty irrelevant to us. <laughs> right, right? Today I want to talk about unintentional triangulation, especially in friend groups. Now even though triangulation in its nature is manipulation, we often do it without realizing it or intending to manipulate. And none of us are bad for doing it. We're usually motivated by pretty innocuous reasons. Like when I was a kid, I was definitely uh, perpetuating unintentional triangulation because I was just so shy and awkward. Hi, what can I get you? She wants a Cosmopolitan. Okay, that would be money, money, money. She says thank you. Tell her I said you're welcome. Message received. Bye. Seriously, I could not talk to strangers to save my life. I made my brother buy me so many Cosmopolitans in my youth. In addition to being shy, we may employ this because we're afraid of uh, confrontation. Good old conflict. Thank you so much for meeting us. Sure, what's this all about? Why is there a lawyer here? I'm gonna ask you not to speak to my client and to direct all your questions to me. So what we have here is that on October 29th, 2020, you went into a verbal agreement with my client during a game of Catan that in exchange for her or you would in fact be a surrogate when she was ready. Is that correct? That was a joke. I wasn't actually gonna do that. Oh, a joke. How convenient, especially given that my client gave you all of her aura during that game, a move which in effect made her lose. Michelle, what is this about? Excuse me, please don't speak to my client, otherwise this meeting is over and we're gonna go straight into litigation. So what we have for you here is a very generous proposal. You can either fulfill your surrogacy obligations within six months or in perpetuity, every game night, you will give Miss Macedo all of your aura. You have until Monday to think about our offer. And then of course you have survivors of incredibly toxic and abusive families who don't know how to have a direct conversation because this behavior was modeled for them as acceptable or they were taught direct conversations were just unsafe. Ever since I learned about triangulation, I see it everywhere now. And my hope is that you do too. And when you catch yourself doing it, because you inevitably will, remember that unclear is unkind. When we love people, that means being honest with them. That means having a hard conversation. Every relationship is rupture and repair. Conflict is bound to happen. And it's the way we choose to deal with that conflict over time that creates fulfilling 
honest, loving relationships. I'm Anna Akana, and thank you to the patrons who supported this video, and thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. A while ago, BetterHelp was embroiled in this drama due to someone pointing out legal jargon in their terms of service, which was actually perfectly normal for a company to have, but it got blown out of proportion, and I've since talked to them. I've also used their service before. My friends have used their service, and so I feel confident about this endorsement and their team and what they're about. So all 11,000 plus counselors on BetterHelp, with no exceptions, are licensed, trained, experienced, and accredited psychologists, marriage and family therapists, clinical social workers, or licensed professional counselors. BetterHelp's mission is to provide anyone facing life's challenges with easy, discreet, professional, convenient, and affordable access to professional counseling with a licensed therapist. So you fill out a brief questionnaire about your history and what you'd like to work on, and then they match you with a therapist they think is gonna be really good. But I do wanna say finding a therapist is like dating. You should kind of, you know, keep seeing therapists until you find someone you really jive with. Sometimes that is on your first session and sometimes it takes a few. With BetterHelp, scheduling is super easy and flexible and you pay one low flat fee for unlimited counseling. You can go to betterhelp.com slash to sign up today. 